morning guys today we are as you might see not in Lourdes he is still parked in the garage for a good reason as you might have seen in the previous video uh, we had some engine problems and he's still not running uh, but recently we picked up a new engine or new so yeah we got a 1.9 liter TDK engine from a 1996 uh, Golf I believe so it's not like an insane upgrade, but it's a more modern engine with more torque. Um, and I think it's gonna do exactly what we want it to do, which is yeah, give us a bit more uh, power uphill and um, yeah, overall better performance, I guess. It's gonna be a long process, but we're up for a challenge. So first stage is to prep the new engine or the old new engine and give it a proper overhaul. So that's going to take quite a few hours. Luckily we got some good help uh, and we're going to show you a part of the process at least. And yeah, probably just going to spend the entire day uh, working on the, on the engine. So the first wash is done. We'll basically uh, replace every component here, but uh, like the main frame will be kept, of course. And we're trying to make it look like it's back to its glory days. This is the moment of truth. It's the valve cover coming off to reveal the condition inside. Amazing good. Mm. Good? <laughs> really good. Oh yes. Really, really good. Look how clean it is. And this is a diesel engine. This is not common. This engine must have run at very low mileage. We hit the jackpot with this one. So yeah. far, at least. Camshaft is also very, very nice. No wearing. Yes. Good news. Okay, so this is the status on the engine right now. Uh, we're about to lift off the cylinder head to expose the cylinder block, which is really exciting. It's Christmas Eve here now for us. Uh, can you do the honor? My pleasure. And the verdict. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> In the liners you can see, still see the honing marks. I think this engine here has been running about 20 or 30,000 kilometers, no more. <laughs> so it's just like brand new down here. No edge, so every in each of them. And I need to remember you guys that we didn't know anything about the engine when we picked it up. We knew that what kind of engine it was basically, but no more details were, were added. So. But look inside the cylinder head, how clean it is to be a diesel engine. It's unbelievable. And this is a 24 year old engine. Need remembering. <laughs> it is day two. We have got ourselves another rental and we are heading out to continue working on the new engine. Let's go! Yep. <laughs>
tip to keep the mood up in a garage. <laughs> Bring the guys pizza. I thought I would give you a quick uh, update on today's progress. We have now uh, disassembled the entire engine and we are now working on getting all little crooks and crannies, getting them uh, back to the best shape possible. Been washing them and uh, yeah, trying to make it as pristine as possible. And we have also started overhauling some parts. Uh, the pistons are getting really nice and shiny. Uh, we have a special tool which uses uh, uh, water and a mix of glass uh, fragments that is like yeah, blowing and shining the parts totally clean so it looks looks like brand new parts. It's pretty amazing actually and uh, yeah so much progress being made and yesterday we ordered a bunch of parts which will uh, basically the engine will be as new and we've been really lucky with um, the one we picked it's still a long way to go but it feels so good having started the process and feels like we're actually getting somewhere I think next up is to get the old engine out of notice because we still need some of the parts from from that engine to go onto this new one. Um, so we need to find someone who can actually take out the engine. Um, and <laughs> the thing that makes it a bit harder is that he's currently not running, so we can't like take him anywhere. And he's parked in our garage uh, under our block. So. Kind of awkward because it's an uphill uh, exit from the garage mm. and our clutch doesn't work. So we actually need to be towed up. Yeah. So it, it's a bit more complicated than what it needed to be. Yeah, most of the stuff with this vehicle seem to be a bit... Uh, yeah, it's, it's a bit of logistics, let's just say it like that. Yeah, and the guys are super eager to get it uh, installed before winter hits yeah. Norway, which is like a month a from month. now. <laughs> so things are gonna proceed fast, I think, now, going forward. I'm trying to clean the old engine. We have to use some parts from the JX engine, which is the old one, to be used on the new one. So it's kind of easier to manage if it's not so greasy and dirty. So we're we're getting there. Right now waiting outside the post office for it to open because we have some parts laying here that we need to collect. Yeah. Mm. We're gonna attach the new parts to the new engine and basically build it up.
just removing the meat out of the cylinder head. That's an improvement. Excellent. Excellent. So we are using this manual to get everything as correctly as we can and for the main bearing saddle bolts we are looking up here and it says for the AAZ one we're going to use first 65 which, which we measured and addicted it is and then the part two step is to uh, go 90 degrees further so that's what we're doing now. Där ska du gå till den ja. Okej. Okay. Kom igen. Ja, det var sånt. Hon lagde den bara. Ja, alltså...